Now it's time for Quarantine Tonight. Live from an undisclosed location north of the Platte River, here's your host, Mike Flood. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight on this Tuesday. It's cloudy and rainy in several areas of Nebraska. We had some showers move through, which are very welcome. The exact kind of rain that you want. And it looks like we may get more this week post 4th of July. So thank you so much for joining us here on News Channel Nebraska's Quarantine Tonight. I was going to say, if you watch the intro to this program, you see that one guy kind of dancing around in the living room with his uh, child there in his arms. He's actually a police officer that I ran into the other day. And he he thanked me uh, in his own way for making sure he was on the intro. He says he gets a lot of trouble for it. And uh, so if you're watching that and you know who he is, uh, maybe don't go so hard on him. You know, we love the we love the video. We don't want to have to take it off. But uh, sounds like he's been getting in some trouble with his coworkers just as a kind of a joke on uh, on that front. Hey, quarantine tonight is lucky tonight to have. Uh, they were high school phenoms. Now they are college phenoms and uh, they are workers and students and uh, they're making polka happen at a much different generation than uh, we see often on this program the happy players from fremont are back by popular demand we're going to talk to them here in just a little bit uh tomorrow night we have mason michaels and uh on we go thursday and friday with replays so welcome back to a live edition of quarantine tonight let's start tonight on this tuesday thankful for the rain with our evening prayer Hi, how are you? My name is Pastor Charles Kadurima. I'm the minister of the First United Methodist Church here in Nebraska City. I'd like us to take a moment of prayer. Let's pray. Gracious and loving God, we are so thankful for the gift of life. We are so thankful for your protection and for your care. We particularly want to pray for the doctors, nurses, first responders, the people who are helping in the care centers. We like to pray this time for the students, for the teachers and the parents, especially this time as we fight the COVID-19. The dear Lord, in everything that we do, we may know that you are always there and be there to guide us and to direct us. We know you and God you cares and and God you loves. May you and God continue to protect us all, protect our families, and particularly I don't want to forget those who are jobless this time and those who are not sure whether they'll be able to go back to work. We thank you and we praise you, God, and we believe that you're going to be with us, walk with us, for indeed that is your promise to us. We pray this believing and trusting in the name of Jesus Christ, who is our Lord and our Savior. Amen. Well, I feel like this is old hat tonight. You've got, we've got the happy players on here. It's been over a year, I think, since I've actually had them on the program myself, but they've been on twice without me, both times, ironically, with a guest host. Uh, welcome back. We have the whole crew here. Of course, Jackson is here, uh, his brother, Jameson, the lead singer, uh, one of the lead singers, I should say, of the Happy Players. Yes, what you are about to see is real. These guys are technically in their early 20s, and they are into polka. So let's just do a round robin of introductions, if you would, Jameson. Uh, obviously, okay. you and I have uh, we've worked together. Jameson helped schedule for the shows. He's at UNO in the music program also doing an entrepreneurship effort there as well. So mm -hmm. you, you're learning the business side of music. But right. during the summer, the folks cashing out at the High V in uh, Fremont, they run into you, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's pretty fun. <laughs> and you actually got it four customers to say they'd watch tonight, right? Yeah. I, there were a, a bunch of them. that I had a couple come from Norfolk. Oh, all the way to the Fremont High V? Yeah. And, I, and they said that's where they were from. And I said... So you watch NCN? They're like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm with the happy players. Like, oh, really? That's super cool. And so I said, we'll be on again. They're like, all right, we'll watch. Were you signing autographs at the checkout stand? <laughs> no, but I, I shake a lot of hands, and I have done I have done pictures. Something tells me you'd shake a lot of hands even if you weren't in the happy players. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you meet a lot of people. Jameson, then, he works in the pharmacy, 
And uh, we've got a mic on Jameson, your brother. No, Jackson. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> Jackson, Jameson. And Jackson works back at the pharmacy. And uh, I can't, are you, uh, are you glad handing like your brother in the pharmacy or is it more business back there? Uh, yeah, no, maybe not exactly what he does. Um, <laughs> yeah, no. No. He's hard to keep up with socially, yeah, isn't he? he is, actually, yeah. Uh -huh. he's, got, he's got lots of people to see. He's got lots of people to see. Uh, yeah. All right, uh, over here on the tuba, an Eisenmenger. Uh, mm -hmm. Remind me the first name. From Originally from the Humphrey area, but lived in Omaha most of his life. Uh, lived in Fremont. Uh, lived in Fremont, yes, yeah. yeah. I grew up in Fremont for 16 years, and then I moved to Omaha ever since then. All right, so he's, uh, he's living the good life in the mm -hmm. Big O. And uh, seems like... I don't know. Like everybody's changing here. It's uh, you, you're no more facial hair. What happened? No, uh, it's just not. It's not a good look. And my, <laughs> my girlfriend didn't can, I tell you that last time? You my were girlfriend can tell you that one. She convinced me. So yeah, and I'm thankful that she did. My mother also hated it. So it just made sense to shave it. You off were kind it. of in a rebellious stage last time you were here. <laughs> we now talk, look at you. We don't you. talk about it. We don't, we don't talk about it. Now look at you, girlfriend and. Uh, over here uh, with this guy is at UNL. Tell everybody who you are. And uh... I'm I'm Turner Blick. I'm gonna be a sophomore at UNL Lincoln. All right. And uh, his girlfriend, na appropriately named after a president I really like, Reagan. Not spelled the same way, but not yeah. spelled the same way. She's still with you. What happened? She is. She even oh. came with you tonight. Yet again. Yet again, does she know what she's getting into? I told her that. I was like, if you're going to come, maybe you might have to make an appearance. And That's she's right. cool with that, yeah. She's over there. She's dressed <laughs> in a... Is she from Fremont, too? Yeah. That town's been good to you, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Fremont's been really good to you, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Look how big Look how big his smile is over there, Mr. Eisenmanger. All right, so what are we going to do tonight, Jameson? I know you've got this thing tracked out. We're going to get into some... Hardcore polka. Your your brand of polka is a little faster. Right. This is what I like to call, uh, you know, like new era polka. It's what a lot of like newer, younger bands are doing up in like Wisconsin, Minnesota, Texas. It's the it's what the younger people like. It gets the crowd going for the parties. And we've got some new songs tonight that we haven't really played much as well. Oh, nice. Involve guitar and bass. We've added some more instruments, so we're going to get some different textures in tonight. So tell me a little bit uh, about your experience at UNO when you tell peers uh -huh. uh, that you're in a polka band what what do their eyes do well i mean usually they're like they question a lot but most of the professors just laugh <laughs> they, they just they don't really as long as they put an a down they can laugh all they want right, right? yeah it the problem i've had is they don't seem to take it as seriously as i'd like sometimes but when i try to explain to them what i do it starts to kind of finally sink in yeah but uh, you know they're real good people there and um I think it's a real good school. You just want to put them up against the wall and say, listen, I'm serious about this polka stuff. Right. Like, I'm like, like I'm not listen, joking. guys. Yeah. Like, I'm going places doing this and stuff. Like, I've, it's been seven years. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jackson, you got your hands full with this brother. <laughs> All right. What are we going to start with tonight? Oh, we got the Beer Barrel Polka, a good classic. Kind of fun from a group that can't drink yet, right? Nobody's 21. In like seven days or something. I turned 21. Oh, my goodness. Ooh. Yeah. What's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen? I got to ask. What's Things and so I don't really plan to drink too much. Um, uh. I, just, I mean, I, I know for sure there's one person I want to have a beer with. It's my, te my accordion teacher, Alex. He has his own line of beer. So he'll be in Wisconsin when we're there, and I'm going to have a beer with him. Well, naturally. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> uh, here we are, the happy players on News Channel Nebraska.
Roll out a barrel We'll have a barrel of fun Roll out the barrel We've got those blues on the run Singing to barrel Sing out a song of good cheer Whiskey, wine, or beer That was the Beer Barrel Polka. And up next now, we're going to be doing the Polka Medley. That was the Polka Medley. Okay, and now we will be doing the Prague Polka, and uh, this song features Jackson Bretman on the trumpet. Uh, this was also like one of the first songs we learned. It was Beer Barrel, uh, Blue Skirt, but it was different, and then it was this. It was like the third one we ever learned, so hope you enjoy. Yes, me popular, do preserve me, as me, me popular, me. Yes, me opistili prahu, slun se vstilio. Ladies and gentlemen, Jackson Bretman. Dobrze. 
serious me, 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 I am popular, a top says me, me, yes, me, opiskili pravu, slunce tintilo. Thank you. That was the Prague Polka featuring Jackson on trumpet and Turner on vocals. This is a fairly new song with uh, Turner on check. We haven't had words for it for a while, but we've been wanting to add them, so. And up next, we're going to be going to doing the Blue Skirt Waltz, and this will feature all brass and Luke on the tuba. Gentlemen, once again, Luke Eisenhower on tuba. Skirt Waltz. And up next, we will be doing the Lichtensteiner Polka.
Das ist Dickensteiner, Pucker, mein Schatz, Pucker, mein Schatz, Pucker, mein Schatz, da bleibt doch kein Lichtensteiner auf seinem Platz, auf seinem Platz, mein Schatz. Man kann lieben, schieben, schieben, sich in beide Augen sehen, man muss sich lieben, lieben, lieben und die Liebe, die ist schön, oh ja. So eine Lichtensteine Pucker, die hat's, die macht Rabatz, mein Schatz. Der alte Herr von Lichtenstein, ja, 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 er konnte nicht alleine sein, nein, 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 er schickte seine Boten aus, ja, 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 und schickte sich den aus und schickte sie mir ins Haus. Die Musik lädt ihn los, da wusste ihn klein und groß. Die macht Rabatz und bleibt Doch ein Lichtensteiner auf seinem Platz Auf seinem Platz, mein Schatz Schieben mit leider Augen sehen Man muss sich lieben, lieben, lieben Und die Liebe, die ist schön, oh ja So eine Lichtensteiner Poker, die hat Die macht Rabatz, mein Schatz Thank you. That was the Lichtensteiner polka, and that's another one where we just added vocals. So, yeah. Uh, and now we're going to do one of our newer songs that uh, requires bass and uh, electric guitar. Uh, we're gonna, it's, a, it's a SpongeBob medley that we're doing. I'm sure everyone knows what SpongeBob is, but this is one for the younger generation. It'll be uh, Ocean Man and then a song from SpongeBob. I know a lot of people know Ocean Man, so we hope you enjoy. One, two. So this will feature Jackson on uh, classical guitar and uh, or an electric guitar <laughs> and Luke on bass and he has a solo too, so. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip. Ocean man, the crust of a tan, man and bite by the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see through the wonder of amazement at the open man? Ocean man, crust is elusive and it casts forth to the child life. Ocean man, the sequence of a life for raising the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man. Ocean man. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Jackson Grubman. Ocean man, take me by the hand, lead me to the land that you understand. Ocean man, voyage to the corner of the globe is a real trip, trip, trip. Ocean man, the demons of a life born raising the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, can you see through the wonder of amazement at the open man? Ocean man, crust is elusive when it casts forth to the tar life. Ocean man, the sequence of a life born raised in the sand, soaking up the thirst of the land. Ocean man, I thought that I had everybody on my side, but I went and blew it. All sky high And now she won't even spare a 
passing glance All just because I Rip my pants When Big Larry came round Just to put him down Spongebob turned into a clown Then no girl ever wants to dance With a fool who went and ripped his pants I know I shouldn't mope around I shouldn't curse But the pain feels so much worse Cause winding up with no one A polka there, Jameson. Uh, tell me about that. Yeah. Is that Ocean Man? Is that what that's Ocean called? Ocean Man by Ween. A lot of people in like their 20s, 30s, 40s. No. That's the new polka? Yeah, well, just new song, yeah. Wow. You know, sometimes I don't even know how to put into words what I see come out of this band. I just, but I smile. I like it. And uh, Jackson, you're over there with a solo on the electric guitar. How many instruments do you play over here? You've got the trumpet, you've got the guitar, you've got. Is this, uh, is this a lot of practice? I mean, where do you pick this up at? Uh, no, actually, it's not a lot of practice. I'm just told what to do, so I pick it up and start playing. <laughs> Jackson, if he had his way, would really just be in a rock band, right? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's that just really true. happy to be able to do guitars. That's what he really wanted to do. So you, we... you like upgrading from the uh, piano to the yeah, guitar? Yeah, it's an upgrade. That's a great way to put it, yeah. All right. We want him with the band as long as possible, so we got to throw him some bones <laughs> once in a while. You do. You have to take care yeah, of your brother, right. don't you? Yeah, I think, uh, right. If yeah. your brother's not happy, he's not going to be on the keys for you. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever thought of, like, uh, forming a union? I mean, you're kind of... You know that I was mentioning it. Maybe I might have to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh, i got to get over here and talk to some of these guys here. Uh, <clears throat> you're on the drums. How was the first year at UNL? It was very fun. It was just weird with COVID. We had a lot of online classes, but other than that, it was fun. Were you living at home, basically, the entire time? No, we were on campus the whole time. Oh, really? You stayed yeah. in the dorms? Yeah. Oh, gosh. What we was had that to like? have an app to tell us if we had... We got randomly tested for COVID, so you had to get randomly tested, and you had an app that told you if you tested negative, that that's how you got into buildings. Okay, so are you in Lincoln this summer, or are you back in Fremont? I'm back in Fremont this summer, yeah. And what are you doing to keep busy during the day? Um, I have summer classes, and I'm also... I have a research opportunity that I'm, like a job that I'm that doing this summer as well. That's what everybody says yeah. in this summer, a right, research yeah. opportunity. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's good. So you're going to be technically with your credits, you're actually going to be a junior next year. Yes, correct. Awesome. All right. There we go. Uh, and then this guy over here, I got to showcase his socks. Uh, I noticed that you have what appear to be uh, socks celebrating socks. the arrival of the United States on, on the, the moon. moon. Exactly. What possessed you to buy those? Uh, <laughs> honestly, I was looking to buy some new fun socks for the new job at Volkswagen. So. Okay, selling Volkswagens, yep. uh, which you can do that in Omaha. Mm -hmm. I'd wait till you get married before you try those socks. <laughs> <laughs> Just as a guy that was once in his 20s, I don't know. Uh, I hey. like them. I like them. Yeah. What, are they not attractive? Well, I don't know. I, I think my girlfriend <laughs> thinks they're attractive. Well, does she like them? She does. She, she loves them. She loves fun socks. So She does? Okay, mm -hmm. well, if it's working for you, it's We both working. love fun socks, yeah. She it, likes it works fun... out great. Now, where is this girl? Uh, she's in Fremont. What does she do? Uh, she currently is at, actually, the YMCA doing daycare for a bunch of menacing children. Oh. Yes. And so she, she needs a little stress relief. She does a little bit, <laughs> yeah. And so how long has this relationship been going on? Uh... Today is a six, and three days it'll be seven months. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, a little bit longer than you thought. He's just turned into a talk bot. <laughs> yeah. The last time he was here, I couldn't get uh, two words out of him now. Well, I guess, look, yeah. Look how happy he is. Uh, like I said, it took, it took seven years for things to start changing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you two? Girlfriends yet? No. Which, you know, my friends ask me, they're like, you do all this, you make all this money, and you don't have a girlfriend? And I'm like, yeah, I don't. You know, Korean pop bands are all the rage right now, and I can't get anybody. <laughs> <laughs> what, did you, what did you just say? 
K-pop, Korean pop bands like BTS and stuff is all the rage right now, you know? And I, I'm in a band, it's a little bit different, but I just can't seem to get anybody. Mm -hmm. Hey, your time is coming. Right, they're missing out. That's what I have got to say. <laughs> well, Jackson's probably too busy doing all the talking. He can't get a word in edgewise. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, you guys are fun. Well, we're gonna we're gonna tear into more of this here on this program. I don't know if you noticed, but I was I was making a trip to the refrigerator in the middle of the night. On my way back to my bedroom, I hit this big trunk that my wife put next to the couch, and so I'm I'm on the injured list for a little bit. So I'm hobbling around. Not broken though. Mm -hmm. Just black and blue. Rule number one, when you get married, always have an agreement where you co-decide where Stuff goes, the right. furniture goes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially in the middle of the night. when you're Especially gonna in the right. middle of the night. Yeah. You're going to be a great husband. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's, uh, let's check Mike's mailbag. We have gotten a lot of great letters, and I uh, want to share them with you. Uh, I know last time we didn't have any, but tonight I see that the mailbag has got a few that uh, we want to pass along. So let's see what we have here. We'll start with a viewer in Grand Island. We drove from Grand Island for your live event. This could be a monthly thing. Well, thank you so much for watching and traveling to that uh, Poco we, that we had in the Norfolk area. Here's one from Columbus. I especially enjoyed the show with all of the dancing. Well, that was good because uh, that was the same show that the folks from Grand Island came to. All right, two, two letters today. And uh, you'll notice if you say, don't use my name, we will not use your name. And uh, that way you can share with us your thoughts. Send those letters to this address at the bottom of your screen. It's 214 North 7th Street. That's in Norfolk, 68701. Send us a letter. We like reading them. We like finding out. And we like telling the bands that we get great feedback. And Jackson, you uh, helped us last summer. You know how many letters we get. And uh, you know what the bands say. And you know there's a lot of people that really enjoy what you guys do. Right. We really appreciate those people. And when I did it, I was able to read some of those letters personally, which is, all, which is really cool. Yeah. You don't get to usually see that kind of stuff. And I made sure to pass some of those along to some of the other bands. Just let them know a lot of people like them and like the people, show. And, you know, I'm sure that people also like seeing you because you are keeping something alive that mm -hmm. is a very, very, very special right. part of their lives. Yeah. And uh, just by your youth, I mean, you could be doing this another 70 years. Yeah, well, that's the hope. I'm going to pretty much do it till I die. Oh, <laughs> you got a long way to go. Right. That's not even a word you use in your 20s. All right, right, let's take a quick break. We'll be back with more. The Happy Players are on News Channel Nebraska. Welcome back to Quarantine Tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the happy players all from Fremont, Nebraska are here. Your teacher, uh, Mr. Seger, who's since retired in the middle school at Fremont uh, Middle School, he was on the program last week and uh, Bat had his whole family with him there. Yeah. Did you, you watch that, right? Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was really good. He really, I got to give that guy a lot of credit. Uh, you do too. He imparted upon all of you a love for um, music and polka, yep. which if you can do that with middle school students, you might be right up there at the highest levels of education. I would have to agree. Yeah. I mean, are there other lesions of uh, students that have gone through the middle school that walked away with a affinity for polka? Mm, not unless they're forced. <laughs> And there was probably a little being forced. Well, I, I know I had a friend who graduated a couple years before me. His name is Spencer Bridgman, and he plays accordion. And he's the guy who my parents actually bought my first accordion from. It oh. was him and his grandfather. My goodness. Well, I'd say Mr. Seger's done a good job. And, oh, yeah. Uh, you guys are into it. Jackson, what are we going to do here? What songs? Is, who's calling the shots here, Jameson uh, or you? You know, I'm going to let Jameson call the shots, but uh, <laughs> I, I guess... Um, we're doing the Ruski players, which was Ruski composed player. by a drummer turned blue. Yeah, I, oh, I wrote sorry, this song. Rain. You Rain. wrote it. This one was no, wrote. This is the one you wrote. You wrote this. Oh, he wrote this yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Wow. Again, if it's from scratch, you wrote it. But if you took it from other songs, it's arranged. The other songs we have are arranged. Yeah. So this is one you you wrote yourself. And what's the song yeah. about? Yes. It's not. There's no words. It's just like a Russian-sounding song. You like those Russian-sounding songs? I do. I do. What so does Jameson? Yeah, me and Turner. When, how do you guys get into the Russian music? I mean, I've, I've always thought they sounded good, but in high school when I got my, I had knee surgery for 
a semester, and Jameson and I were always just left in the band room together because he had yep. knee problems, and yep. I had a surgery with a big old cast, and so everyone else was outside marching, and I was like, Jameson, you like Russian music, and then we just jam out the Russian music and dance around. And, yeah. So we came up with these medleys and all these songs. I can't even make this stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Some bands I can't get to say two words, and you guys, we're going to talk all night. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here we go with the happy players on News Channel Nebraska. Thank you, that was the Rushki players. And up next, we are going to be doing Just Because, uh, featuring me and Turner on vocals. Just because you think you're so pretty Just because you think you're so hot Just because you think you got something That nobody else has got You called me to spend all my money You left and called me old Santa Claus But I'm telling you, honey, I'm through with you because just because 
thank you, that was just because. And up next, we'll be doing the seven-step polka. Uh, we'd also like to let people know we're going to be at quite, we've got quite a few gigs this month, and I'm sure quite a few of them you guys will be able to attend. The one coming up the soonest is this July 10th in Fremont for John C. Fremont Day, so if you live in Fremont or, you know, not too far away, come on down. We'll be playing July 10th, Saturday, at 7 p.m. under the Chautauqua tent. It's the big main yellow, town, uh, yellow tent in the park. And then July 17th will be at the Colfax County Fair at 6, and July 30th will be at the German American Society at 7. Thank you. That was the seven step polka. And up next, we we're going to be doing the prune song waltz. Thank you. 
And that was the prune song waltz. And up next, we'll be doing I Like to Dance. Um, so once again, the next song we're going to be doing is I Like to Dance, and uh, I've been instructed to give a little banter while Jameson's going to take care of his valves for a little bit. So um, I Like to Dance is one of the first songs we incorporated as a band with uh, Czech lyrics. And so in this song, I'm going to be singing uh, Czech. I've done it in a couple songs before, but this was the first one that we did. Um, and we first started playing this song when we were in middle school, and I remember Mr. Steger, like we mentioned before, walked up to me, and he was like, you're going to sing Czech on this song. And I was like, I, I don't speak Czech. And he was like, I don't really care. Um, and so I, I, I sing Czech for this song, and a lot of people have said that it's, it's pretty good, but I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, and that goes for any Czech song. I, I don't claim to speak Czech at all. Um, and so I hope you guys like the song, and... Jameson's valves are now oiled up and ready to go, so. Yep. Okay. So, hope you guys enjoy. I like to dance. Ever two, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Майден, я рада танцую, можна же жить красна, у страдання буду. А про про Майден, я кріпіт весела, кріжна. Thank you. That was I Like to Dance. And now up next, we'll be doing another one of our newer songs. This is going to see, again, Luke on uh, bass, and this time Jackson on classical guitar. I'm sure this is a song that a lot more people re will recognize. Uh, we're going to be doing King of the Road, you know, by Roger Miller, except his version is not the key that we're... The key that ours is in is the Frank Sinatra version, but you guys probably don't care about that. <laughs> Trailer for sailor rent Rooms to let for 50 cents No phone, no pool, no pets I ain't got no cigarettes I'll but two hours of pushing broom That's an eight by twelve for bedroom I'm a man of means by no means King of the road Boxcar, midnight train, destination, Bangor, Maine. Old worn out suit and shoes. I don't pay no union dues. I smoke old stogies I have found. Short but not too big around. I'm a man of means by no means. King of the road. I know it. On every train, all of the chillin' and all of their names, and every handout in every town, and every lock that ain't locked when no one's around. I sing trailer for sailor rent, rooms to let for 50 cents, no phone, no pool, no pets. I ain't got no cigarettes, all but. Two hours of pushing broom buys an eight by twelve four bedroom. I'm a man of means by no means, king of the road. I know every engineer on every train, all of the chillin' and all of their names, and every hand out in every town, and every lock that ain't locked when no one's around. I sing for sailor rent rooms to let for 50 cents no phone no pool no pets i ain't got no cigarettes all but two hours of pushing broom buys an eight by twelve four bedroom i'm a man of means by no means king of the road king of the road King of the road. Ladies and
ladies and gentlemen, the happy players tonight on News Channel Nebraska. Fresh out of Fremont and looking for trouble. These guys uh, are all over the place. Tell me some of the places you're going to be. Oh, uh, uh, next month in August, we'll be in Elkhorn, Wisconsin for DOS Fest. That'll okay. Be really fun. And then we'll be in um, Frisco, Texas for the Frisco Oktoberfest. Uh, Crow uh, New Braunfels, Texas at a place called Krause's. We'll be in West Texas for West Fest. So what do those Texans say when they see you all? I mean, is it crazy? Yeah, the first time we actually went to Texas, which was for the National Polka Festival, um, everybody kind of, like, went nuts, especially for Luke, because they, like, really liked him. And so... What was it about Luke? The way he played. They were drunk, and they really liked the tuba player. <laughs> so, well, I mean, you've seen how he plays. I think it's he just crazy. said they were drunk, and they liked tuba players. It was late at yeah. night. They, they liked the tuba. Night. And they were like, hey, it was the socks. I like that tuba player. It was your player. socks. Well, it was, definitely was the socks. We were much younger back then. <laughs> yeah. You were 18, probably. Uh, <laughs> seven, we were... 15? I was like yeah. 15 or 14. It was like ninth grade. So that would have been two years after we'd started. Yeah. Okay. So you're going back on your return trip to Texas. Yeah, we, my manager, one of my managers, Alex Meixner, uh, he's arranged that all for us. How many managers do you have? I have Alex and then my mom. And Alex has done a lot your for Your mom's going to, by the way, be your manager for the rest of her life. Right. <laughs> it's, it's Alex and my mom. And Alex has helped us so much. He has his own band, his own booking company. And he, does, he books bands for all these big events. And he graciously does it for us, no charge. And, um, you know what you guys need? You need a tour bus. You, yeah. you need a tour bus. Like I, Prevo. Jackson, can you imagine having your own bus? I could, actually, yeah. We did once on yeah, our did, actually, second yeah. trip to Texas. Yeah. He, if You know, in the tight, compact spaces you have to sleep, something tells me, I've seen Jackson before, <laughs> he can fit into any space. Right. He just gets yeah. right in there. Yeah, any cabinet, <laughs> any drawer. Right. Exactly. You could, you could Open the work yourself into a drawer. I cabinet. could, yeah. He mm -hmm. could sleep in the top What is that? Cubby. That's just flexibility? or? I'm a small guy, I guess. Yeah. 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 You, haven't seen the, you haven't seen the Asian gymnasts? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm learning so much about you guys tonight. This is great. <laughs> All right, so tell me where you're going to be in Nebraska. John C. Fremont Days mm -hmm. is that next weekend. That's coming. It's, that's this coming this Saturday. Coming. So this Saturday night, uh, July... July 10th, 10th at 7 p.m. at the Chautauqua Tent. It's the main big yellow tent in John C. Fremont Park. Okay. It's real hard to miss. It's, it's not real hard to miss. It's right there in the middle of everything. And you will be performing at what time? 7 p.m. Okay. Does that cost anything to go to that? No. Unless you want to give tips or buy merchandise, which we'll very, very much accept. Which you also have, you sell merchandise. We're working on it right now. We're going to do hats, sweatbands, um, wristbands, T-shirts. What is going on? <laughs> like, this is just a... You don't you love it? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. my business degree coming in. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a good thing to have. All right. Let's do this. Let's take a break. We've got more with the happy players out of Fremont tonight on News Channel Nebraska. Stay with us. Oh, we're on here. Okay. <laughs> this is a little surprise. I forgot to turn my ear on here. Uh, we're here with the happy players. Now, uh, we're about to do In Heaven There Is No Beer. Now, I see you also brought your girlfriend along with you tonight. I did. Regan, come on up here. Hello. I just got done giving her a hard time. Uh -huh. She is an accounting major, and you are a math major. And German major. And German. Okay. Oh, come over here, Regan. Okay. <laughs> and Regan is from Fremont, right? Yes. And uh, you would, I, I told, he told you you're going to be on TV, I didn't did. he? I tried to prepare well, you. you didn't prepare me right now. <laughs> you, well, you married a polka drummer. What do you expect? Like, this is the life you lead. There's going to be people outside wanting your autograph. And how long have you two been dating? Two years. A little over two years. Yeah. yeah. She's an accounting major. He's a math major. But he's, she likes things neat. She also likes office supplies, which I totally have that same uh, interest and so does Jameson. You probably know that. Yes, yeah. apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he is—he's not so uh, organized. He's into the no, theory of math. Yeah. So he—he he studies the theory of math. Like, why does one plus one equal two? We call it pure math. Yeah. Pure math. Yeah. You really got to be driving out in the left lane <laughs> to be interested in math theory. What yeah. got you interested in that? 
Um, well, when I was in middle school and high school, the public school let me move up as far as I wanted to or could in math. And so you just reach a point where calculus is something you did years ago and you're just wondering what else to do and you start having to use calculators less and you're just thinking more with like philosophy and everything. And What do you two talk about? <laughs> I mean, are you, does he ever go off in his stuff and you're not, like, not math or you counts. like things orderly. You like things orderly. Yeah, I try and ask him about his math stuff just to like be nice and like keep up to date. You really don't care that much. But the whole time I'm like, that's really cool. I have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> he makes accountants look really dumb, not gonna lie. But accountants are the ones that keep everything yeah, orderly. Exactly. If yeah. you didn't have yeah, accountants, exactly. you wouldn't have things that actually get done. Exactly. Okay. Just we're thinking about things. And so you're at UNL too? Yes. You guys go to school together? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Did you go to high school together too? Um, I went to the private school. He went to the public. You went to Bergen? Yep. All right. Yep. Very good. Well, it's all Fremont all the time here. Thank you so much, Reagan. We won't, inter <laughs> we won't embarrass you anymore. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let's enjoy the happy players right here on News Channel Nebraska. <laughs> Normal opening. Here we go. Yep. Okay, and heaven there is no beer. Normal opening. All right. In heaven there is no beer and that's why we drink it here And when we're gone from here Our friends will be drinking all the beer La 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 So let's drink till we feel fine And when we've left ourselves behind Our friends will be drinking all the wine Now in German, yeah, 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 yeah Everybody sing Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, 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 yeah Freunde, dass wir trinken. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, 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 ja. Ja, 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 ja.
thank you. That was in heaven. There is no beer. And up next, we'll be doing the Pennsylvania polka. Strike up the music, the band has begun. The Pennsylvania Polka. Pick out your partner and join in the fun. The Pennsylvania Polka. It started in Scranton, it's now number one. It's bound to entertain ya. Everybody has a minya. To do the polka from Pennsylvania. While they're dancing, everybody's cares are quickly gone. Sweet romancing, this goes on and on until the dawn. They're so carefree. Day with laughter, happy as can be. They stop to have a beer, then the crowd begins to cheer. They kiss, and then they start to dance again. The music, the band has begun. The Pennsylvania polka. Pick out your partner and join in the fun. The Pennsylvania polka. It started in Scranton, it's now number one. It's bound to entertain ya. Everybody has a minya. So do the polka from Pennsylvania. Thank you. That was the Pennsylvania Polka. And uh, now we're going to be doing Russian medley number one, which is a song that our drummer arranged.
you. That was Russian Medley number one. And now we're going to do another one of our new songs. Uh, this will feature, again, Luke on bass and my brother on electric guitar. And what we're going to be doing now is a, called, is a song called Tub Gut Stomp and Red Eyed Soul by the group Shiny Ribs. Just for a little backstory, we wouldn't be doing these songs if not for what I did in college, which was with one of my roommates, start another band, me singing on accordion and him uh, singing on ukulele, Jackson Piercy. I know you're watching right now. Um, this one's for you, and uh, thanks again. Jackson, you ready? Yeah. You know what to do. Yeah. You want me to count it in? All right. Ready? Okay. A one, a two, a you know what to do. It rained this morning, baby, didn't you hear? It rained this morning, baby, didn't you hear? I lost all my rubies down at the steamy bowl. Steamy bowl. Oh, it was a tub gut stomp and red eyes. Oh. I sold my ass last night, didn't you hear? I sold my ass last night, didn't you hear? I hammered the sickle and the jimbo stew. Oh, baby, who talked the bar with the freak out dude? All right, here we go. Tub gut stomp. You wake up in a baby, don't I know? You wonder how it came to this. Drinking like a chimney, smoking like a fish. It rained this morning, baby, didn't you hear? Rain this morning, baby, didn't you hear? I lost all my rubies down at the steamy bow. Steamy bow, steamy bow. It was a tough gut stomp and a red eye. So, Mr. Chief.
All right, thank you. That was Tub Gut Stomp and Red Eyed Soul. And now we will be slowing things back down with Do Do Leitzman Hitzen. Sounds so good. You know, one of the things I don't think uh, viewers even uh, like myself can appreciate is how much lung capacity you have to have to keep an instrument like that going or yeah. like that going. <laughs> like, how much does it take to keep that uh, in operation? Are you ever worn out after a show? Uh, the, only time, the only thing that ever gets worn out after a really good show is actually my legs, funny enough. Why is that? Because it's to hold, like, if I'm playing really, like, intense, my legs are holding me in place, and that's the only thing keeping me from, like, going off the rails and being <laughs> all crazy is my legs got me planted, and so then they get sore just because I'm too intense. I play the tuba too yeah, hard. Yeah. I play the tuba too hard sometimes. Oh, too much really, for his own good. He really does. Yeah. You play the heck out of that tuba, and uh, just the amount of lung capacity you have to have because you're constantly putting air into that machine. I am. So I don't really know where this lung capacity comes from, but it's there. So yeah. he's, a, he's an Eisenmenger, so. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah my, my Eisenmenger family does love to have some good lungs, so. <laughs> and what about you over here, Jackson? Like, uh, it takes a little effort there. I, I, you know, I like picking on you because I like to see really? what I can get you to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, Better him than me. Actually, no, it does not take a lot of lung capacity to play that. It does? No. It, well... When I was in marching band, it was tired to hold, and everyone's like, how's it so tired? It's so light. But other than that, no. But I will say, your chops get tired after a while, and sometimes the boss man or the drummer wants me to play louder, and it's, like, almost impossible to, but you fake it till you make it, right? The boss man over <laughs> yes, here. Yes, I call him no, boss no, no, man because, said, well... He said boss man and the drummer. Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh. But, yeah. Sometimes your lips get tired, and then it's like... What's that like working with your brother, though? Great, you make the best out of it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you can do about it. Do you, you guys fight at home at all, or? Mm, not, no, not. At least not much not, anymore. Not really, yeah, not much anymore. So. There no. was a time, though. Yeah, there was definitely. A time, definitely. You guys yeah. got and that's nasty. just part of having brothers, I think. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. All right. Well, <clears throat> I, uh, I feel like I've picked on all of you enough tonight. Oh, but uh, <laughs> you guys are doing great. We hope that you are enjoying this at home. And on behalf of our viewers, I just want to say thank you uh, for what you're doing, for sharing your talents. And, you know, at the end of the day, we have a lot of fun. But uh, you have brought joy to a lot of people. It's amazing to me see how many people, especially online, just say, this is so fun to watch. And, uh, you know, not everybody can go to work uh, and do something like this and leave so many people feeling so good. Right. So yeah. That has to be the best part of it. Yeah, we, I, you know, I like to think every day how blessed we all are to do this. Because, like, I work at Hy-Vee, too, but this is, like, half of my income. Like, this is one of my two jobs. And I'm so lucky and grateful for what I get to do with all the help I get and the people I get to play with that I'm in the position to do this at 20 as successful as we've become and where we're going. Yeah, that's right. Well, keep it going. I think everybody wants it to happen. And if you, if you can't watch, then go visit them at Hy-Vee. Jameson. Uh... Yeah, come to Fremont <laughs> Hy-Vee. Tell my, listen, I've been wanting to play the accordion in the store for a long time. And I told my managers once, if I had a petition, you know how many people would sign it to get me to play on there? I want to jump up on a register and play. I'm sure there's play. days where your manager's just like, wow. So if everybody comes on one day and like flash mobs the store, you'll do me a favor. <laughs> Flash mob. Oh, you used to be in the meat department, but now you're in the checkout. No, I was. I've always been in checkout. I used to do like some stocking and some uh, like carts and stuff. Okay. <laughs> Jameson Pharmacy. Oh no, Jackson, Jackson Pharmacy. Pharmacy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll take a quick break. We've got more with the Happy Players next on NCN. Hey, before we get to the Two Fat Polka, which is coming up in just a moment, uh, we need you need to know he's going to Germany next year. He speaks German. Not is Jameson. It? Not me. Over here, yes. Yes, yes, Turner. yes. Turner. Oh, sorry, sorry. I ain't going to Germany. <laughs> he going, Turner is going to Germany, and he's going to be there in the spring semester. Mm -hmm. Jawohl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're leaving uh, New Year's. And who's all going? You and some other students? Yeah, some other students. I don't remember how many, like 12, maybe 15. And where will you be living? Uh, Berlin, uh, Lincoln partners with, uh, the Humboldt Institute in Berlin. Okay. And so it's another university over there. So we partner and they send people to Lincoln then maybe I, I, but I know for sure they, they like it when we send Americans over. So, oh, yeah. so what's going to happen to the band when the drummer's gone? We've got a couple in reserve. <laughs> You're going to have to go to Germany and have a show. Yeah, we, that's what we'd hopefully like to do. Jackson likes that yeah, idea. Even Jackson's excited about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do, let's do the Two Fat Polka right here on News Channel Nebraska.
Thank you. That was the two fat polka. And now we'll be doing dancing around. Thank you, that was Dancing Around. And up next, we will be doing the TikTok polka. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you. That was a TikTok polka. And now we're going to do the chicken dance. Thank you, that was the chicken dance. And now we are going to do a more waltz. And uh, this is actually an Italian waltz.
Thank you. That was the Amore Waltz. And now we'll be doing uh, the last one of our new songs. Uh, this again uh, featuring Luke on bass and Jackson on acoustic guitar. Uh, we're going to be doing another very popular and well-known song, uh, Country Roads by John Denver. Thank you. Now, if John Denver had a polka bone in his body, he'd love that song, wouldn't he? Yeah, I'm sure he would. <laughs> I was listening to that. I was like, oh, yes, you can hear the themes. Well, gentlemen, good job tonight. You are all going big places and uh, all seem in pretty good mood. So uh, this is your fourth time on the show. Right. You've got uh, you're you're losing the drummer to Germany That's next fine. in January. <laughs> Just for a couple of months. So going, I'll be back. He's going back to his roots. He's going back to his roots. True. Uh, we love that. He loves Russian music. He speaks German. And uh, Jameson's got things under control. Our tuba man is uh, 
selling Volkswagens and he's Correct. happy as happy gets out. I, <laughs> I, your happiness just comes out. This this girlfriend you've got has done yes. a lot of. She has done a lot. Yeah, it's she me. has done a lot. Is she watching you tonight? She 100 percent is. Yeah. And what's her first name? Uh, Jessica. And she's watching you perform. Okay. 100 percent. All right. When are you going to get her in the band? Uh, on, the, on the show. On the show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's on the show. That's that's initiation. The <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jackson. It's good to see you again, buddy. Good to see you. You're doing good work. And, uh, Staying I, happy. <laughs> just getting words out of you is a, is a treasure for me. <laughs> I think I do better than most, sentence. don't I? Yeah, 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 you do. You do pretty good. He, this is like the most he will speak usually ever. Oh, he's giving you a hard time. Right? <laughs> well, I tell you what, we're running out of time. It's almost uh, to the top. Do you have something really short? Or we can make it short. We can make it short. Um, Why don't you give us an outro, uh, and we won't say anything more. I'll just kind of let it trail off, and then uh, at 10 o'clock we'll do it. He's going to... Just, uh, command something out. Let's just do Craig Bell, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, oh, 14 tonight. Thanks you for watching so much. Let's see what we got here. We're going to do Craig Polka. Alright, one, two, Thank you.